shout out to our boy Darwin in the 1700s, who was a big hater for the idea of preformation, that it's just a little tiny man in there, put it in the lady's oven and she cooks it. She doesn't give any of her own genetic material, which is obviously bonkers, but it actually wasn't Charles Darwin. It was his grandfather, Erasmus Darwin, and he was strongly against preformationism and agreed with the theory more in line with Aristotle's theory of epigenesis, where an adult is developed from a simpler, premature form versus a fully formed miniature human. Over time, more science continued to support an evolutionary sperm and egg genetic theory and genetic diversity coming from both mom and dad. I think it's very indicative of the times and funny that it was accepted scientifically that the woman didn't contribute any genetic material. The voices of opposition to that were like, what's the deal if the kid looks like the mom? How can you explain that? And they would say that sometimes being inside the woman, there could be some absorbing of her genetic, but not surprisingly enough, if anything went wrong in terms of the health of the baby or they were a bad kid or anything wrong, oh, the mother was so evil and horrible and sick or whatever that her evilness spread to the child. 